Mission control facilities are very, very interesting facilities to design. Being a pilot, in addition to being an architect, uh, gives me an insight into some of these requirements of what you are, you, what the what you might need in a mission control facility. Being in a mission control facility is almost like being in the cockpit of an airplane. You are controlling systems, monitoring uh, equipment, monitoring uh, the uh, types of results and data coming from facilities that you're monitoring, in this case, from outer space or facilities that are airborne. And, uh, and when you're monitoring that, you are really multitasking in this one facility, which is a mission control facility, uh, with all kinds of equipment, uh, computers, monitors, that are feeding you data to be able to interpret. In order to do that, you're gonna require a lot of uh, infrastructure that you can depend on. And this infrastructure needs to be able to be dependable 24 seven. That is probably the biggest thing to make sure that all the infrastructure, meaning electrical, power, lighting, uh, data, mechanical systems, your structural systems to withstand the equipment mounted on these facilities, all of them need to be considered and be able to be and and be designed in a way that you can depend on them uh, while you while the users are operating on that. Uh, really, dependability twenty four seven is probably one of the most important parts in designing a mission critical facility. The most uh, critical part of a mission control room is really getting the users to design uh, to decide what it is that they need in, within this facility. Um, a lot of times they just don't know and they depend on our input and being able to draw from them the data and the use of that facility. Also, the adjacencies of where the activities are happening, who needs to be next to who, how many users, uh, trying to understand what kind of equipment is going to be in that facility so that not only can you accommodate the amount of room in there, but also be able to cool the facility uh, properly to be able to maintain the comfort of the users. There's really a lot of things that go into designing these mission co uh, control facilities that from the get-go we really don't have all the answers and we need to be able to design and by drawing out the information from the users. The most uh, recent uh, control room that we've been involved in has been at NASA. Uh, and uh, the Flight Research Center at Edwards Air Force Base maintains a lot of aircraft that are airborne at the same time. Uh, these, uh, these aircraft are not only flying around the area of Edwards Air Force Base, but they are also um, performing experiments. And there's a lot of data that needs to be downloaded uh, into the servers for future analysis. So this, uh, the amount of infrastructure involved is, is quite extensive. And the planning and uh, the thought of how this is going to work uh, for the user is something that truly needs to be considered from the get-go.